Good morning, you sexy mother hubbards. It's time for an alternative paper review. First up to the Daily Express. The country is all behind you. This is the story that Rishi Sunak is giving his best wishes to King Charles, who is undergoing cancer treatment. And Charles says, I've had so many wonderful messages and cards, it's reduced me to tears, guys. Ah, oh, that's nice, isn't it? I mean, like, I'm sad that he's experiencing this, and I'm happy that people are sending him their best wishes and, you know, get well soon and all that stuff. I'm just not sure this needs to be on the front page of multiple newspapers. The Sun says King's Tears. The Times says Sunak sends best wishes to King. The country is all behind you. But doesn't it annoy anyone else? Like every fucking day, a picture of Charles, just there, just to the right of the actual news. A nice picture of Kate, just up here, just to the side. Oh, what? what's William been doing today? Is I, this was yesterday. Oh, William said a thing about Gaza. Then Harry does a thing. What does Camilla think about it? Oh, there she goes. Hey, careful, Cammy, it's raining. It's Charles, it's William, it's more William. The King and Harry and Meghan and Cammy and Kate. Do you know what I mean? Just, just, just shut the fuck up! Anyway, also in the Daily Express this morning, no confidence, fury over speakers vote stitch up. This is the big party political story of the day. Now, I would go into detail about this, but I'm not sure I fully got my head around what happened. Was it like the SNP had their motion that wanted to call for a ceasefire? Labour had their motion that wanted to call for a ceasefire. Everyone agrees that there should be a ceasefire, even though and anything that comes out of London is not going to impact whether or not there is a ceasefire. The whole thing is moot. But here we are in London squabbling over who gets to table the motion. And anyway, then the speaker has to stand up and then apologise. He did. So I, I, I haven't fully got across this yet. But I can see already from afar that it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, let's, let's move on. Over to the Metro now. Lotto winners, jackpot shock. These guys thought they'd won £2.60. But actually, it was £61 million pounds on the Euro Millions. £60 million, man. Like, if you won that money, would you stay in the UK? I'm not sure I would. <laughs> like, you know, the other day I was doing that news story about the couple who bought a scratch card. And as soon as she had, like, a million in her bank account, she dumped the guy. She was like, right, I'm financially free now, so bye. <laughs> This would be like the geopolitical version of that. If, as soon as I won £60 million, I'd be like, bye-bye, blighty. Like, if anyone ever questions my patriotism, that is how deep it runs. Is as soon as I achieve financial security, I'm fucking gone. 